high percentage of these individuals, instead of receiving a Medicaid card, what happens is that they receive a rejection letter from the Medicaid office letting them know they're not eligible. Um, the reason for this is because Pennsylvania, quite basically, really didn't want to have anything to do with the Affordable Care Act. So in addition to not expanding uh, Medicaid, did not, were not involved in the development of the marketplace website for their state. They chose to just let the federal government to, to design and, uh, and monitor their website. So it is built, the marketplace in Pennsylvania is built upon the federal guidelines, which were to expand Medicaid. So because the plan was that each state would raise their Medicaid in income levels, up to 100% or 133% of the poverty level. This is why, if you go on and your income is in that, uh, is within that period, that it will tell you that you're eligible for Medicaid. So then that application will go to the Department of Public Welfare here in Pennsylvania that processes applications. But unfortunately, if you did not qualify for Medicaid under the old and existing standards in Pennsylvania, you still will not qualify for Medicaid uh, as of January 1st when the Affordable Care Act and the marketplace came into um, play. So um, that's all I'm going to say about that for this moment, but I do want to say after I get uh, finished speaking, I do have some of the certified application counselors from Temple that are here today and we will